Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here. As you can see, I'm not in London. I'm in Sydney right now. So I came home for Christmas and New Year's, which has been so nice in Sydney. The weather is perfect. It's nothing like London. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great 2019 or well, the beginning of 2019. I wish you an amazing year ahead. Thank you so much for all your love and your support for last year. So if, whoa. <laughs> If you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Ashley and I'm a blog behind Miss Gunner. So follow me on Instagram that if you have been here before, welcome back guys. Thank you so much. This is my first video for 2019. Let's get into it. I am going to do my first unboxing this year of my first handbag. Well, I bought this for Christmas for myself actually. So um, here it is guys. Let's get into it from Farfetch for Christmas for myself last year and I got a little voucher from them so I only spent the price for this was 1,090 pounds um, and I think I had a voucher for like 600 or 500 or something like that so I spent the rest of it where I paid a bit of extra money for this bag I don't own a Fendi bag I've been in love with a Fendi with Fendi bags for a long time my first Fendi bag um, let's get into it guys I've actually opened this already so I'm just not even gonna pretend like I'm gonna reopen this so this is the bag itself so cute so it comes so this bag is actually called the let me get this name right because there's so many little Fendi camera bags online at the moment this is called a black and brown camera case logo print leather cross body bag <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful but you can also get this in like a mini size um, one without the print on it like a plain Fendi leather bag um, but I got this one so here is the back of it and that's the front so it has a monogram like leather calfskin leather here and then at the front it also has this FF um, kind of embossed logo quite a big logo actually I'm still not too sure about how I feel about this logo bit. I feel like it's quite big. <laughs> I I want out this out I think once before. Yeah, the other night and I wore, wore it out like this way. I don't know. I'm just not sure. Maybe this will grow on me, but we'll see. But um here is the strap. So the strap is obviously detachable. And the reason why I fell in love with this bag was probably because of this um little fen little F logo on the let's just put this on now see so the hardware is gold it's quite a shiny gold normally i kind of not a huge fan of like really shiny gold hardware but i mean it works for this bag so here it is guys i put the strap on and let me just um give you a bit of the dimension so the strap is 64 centimeters drop and then the depth of the bag is eight centimeters um, the width is 22 and also the height is 15. so i just wanted to give you a quick comparison to my small boy bag it's um considerably like larger so my boy bag which i absolutely love doesn't really fit much stuff I love this bag so much but um, it fits like a my little card holder a few lipstick my phone and maybe like a, my keys and that's it like I, I can't get anything else battery charger oh it, I'm pushing it if I put my battery charger in um, my power bank I would need to take the phone out and just kind of put the phone in my pocket or something like that so it's a bit annoying but I love the bag still. So this bag here, <laughs> the other night when I wore this out, I literally fit <laughs> so much stuff in here. The perfect size. And I'm in London. I'm like, I'm out all day. I need a lot of stuff. So if anything, I need like deodorant, you know, a bit of like makeup, not just my lipstick, like powder, all that kind of stuff, which I can't fit into my boy bag. So this bag will fit everything in there and also a power bank, all that kind of stuff. So I'll show you guys first quickly. Um, so here is the strap, I mean the little buckle. And also it has one zipper that goes across the top here with this little 
um, leather bit as well. So I'll show you guys here. This is inside of it. Obviously it comes with a little um, card, Fendi card. And I usually keep everything because I never know, you never know that you might sell a handbag and then you need all of that stuff. So this is the inside of it. It's quite spacious, like it's very roomy. Um, I'd have to say it's got like a little Fendi um, logo there. Also a little tag. So it also says Fendi Roma here. But the inside of this bag is uh, it's like a material. It's quite a soft-ish material. It's not leather on the inside. Um, unfortunately, which is a bit annoying because I sometimes like I put my lip balm in there or like my lip gloss and it leaks a little bit, it just gets on the material. Whereas leather, I can like wipe that down quite easily. Um, and the leather here is quite a matte, like black color. So I found that if you use, if you touch your face, you have like a bit of foundation on and you touch the bag, you will be able to see the little marks on this but what I do is I came home that night I would say I went out with my girlfriend <laughs> had a bit of stuff on this and I just used like a wet towel and I just kind of wipe it for this in Australian dollars is 1990 or in pounds it's 1090 pounds um, and all the tax should be included but I will link everything in my description box so you guys can have a look at that Fendi. I think it's a great little starter bag for Fendi bags. Um, usually most of the Fendi bags go from like 4,000 and up, you know, and this one is a, it's a good little kind of entry um, price for Fendi. So I love this bag so much and I think it'll be a great winter bag for me because of the colors. I can wear it with like camel coats, all that kind of stuff, which I will be styling as soon as I get back to London. That is it for today. Thank you so much again for joining me. I hope you like my little mini review of the bag. Um, I hope you find it quite useful. If you have any questions at all, please do leave me a comment um, and I will get back to you shortly. But other than that, please do give me a subscribe and a thumbs up for the video and I will see you guys at the next video. Happy New Year guys! Bye!